cannot believe we are sitting here going into week five. It's week five, you Already. guys! Can you believe it? <laughs> no! Week, it's week five. five. All right, so uh, we Ooh. made a deal with the devil, in this case, Ravy. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, if we gave her her own fantasy football segment each week, that uh, she wouldn't chew our ear off throughout the week about her fantasy football team and dealings. And well, she hasn't. Monday, it is a menace Monday, and menace, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm available if you need me for more fantasy chat on Monday, I can bring it. All right. Um, just putting that out there menace. for you, buddy. Uh, maybe. I'm, just, I'm telling you. <laughs> You're too nice. I'm available and ready. <laughs> All right, so uh, Ravy's going to give us the update. It's 11 listener teams, and then Ravy's team, she is the commish this year. Yeah. Uh, and she's going up against all these different Woody Show listeners each week. So we get the update, and then we get some questions. So if you got a question about what to do with your fantasy team, who should be in, who should be out, mm-hmm. you can call in with your question, 1-800-782-7987, or text it over to us at 22987, and then we'll get uh, Ravy's lock of the week. Well, before we look ahead to week five, we got to look at week four. Burbank Ballers going against football in the groin. Now, the Burbank Ballers were projected to get 130 points, and they fell just a little bit short of that. 129? <laughs> at 112. Oh, oh, damn. Complete garbage from the Cleveland defense, Mike Williams, Benjamin Watson, James Conner, Nelson Aguilar. Garbage. 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 <laughs> we did have some glorious performances. Golden Taint yes. went bananas last week. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, Mahomie, killing it. Saquon Barkley, great. But was it enough? No, it was oh, not. No. Oh. <laughs> Burbank Ballers lose to football in the groin, 112 to 114. Damn. Oh. He oh, caught no. one. You couldn't have oh, caught two. No. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Ravy. Oh, no. Ballers now two and two and firmly in sixth place. Nowhere to go but up. Damn. Sixth? Sixth. Now we do have to give it up for Joe Buck yourself. Joe Buck yourself has made it through the first quarter of the season undefeated. 4-0. And congrats to Team Never Trust a Fart. They got their first win, taking down Toss My Cop Salad. That puts RG3 away in last place at one and three. Nowhere to go but up for RG3 way. So on the bye this week, you got the Bears and the Buccaneers. And as you know, Fitz Magic, that is dead. That was fun for two weeks. Uh, Jameis Winston is getting his job back when the Bucks return from the bye. Now this week, the ballers taking on Beaver Fever. <laughs> and we are projected, and you know how much pu- we rely on this, projected to get 123 points to their 115. We have officially put somebody on watch. James Connor, Steelers running back, love the guy, but you've got to figure out how to run the ball and keep the Steelers defense off the field. <laughs> Killing the team. You're in. But on notice. <laughs> You're on notice. God, he needs to get about 150 yards this week for the Steelers to have a chance to win. <laughs> Let's talk about Mike Williams, one of the garbage performers, as we have said, from last week. You know what? You're out. <laughs> <laughs> you have been replaced by Doug Baldwin, who's on two bad knees. I'm not even sure he can walk, let alone run, but I still think he has a better shot than you do, Mike Williams. Damn. So, Doug Baldwin, you're in. Williams, 15 yards last week against the 49ers. <laughs> a catch for 15 yards. And you're on somebody's fantasy team? You're on my fantasy team? Weak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable. Dalvin Cook, Vikings running back. You remain out. I held my ground. I did not insert him into my lineup that last week like a lot of people did. First Everyone's all, like, yeah. first, oh, Dalvin Cook's playing. Let me put him in. He was worth two. Uh. So if I had inserted him, I would have lost by more than just two. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so until his hamstring is better, he's out. Look out, Beaver Fever. The baller's coming for you. How about some questions from the police? Questions from the plebs. 
We got a caller. Let's take a call. <laughs> Let's take a call. Michael. Michael, how are you, buddy? What? Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks what? for taking my call. What's going on? Uh, not much. I enjoy this segment. That's all I can say. Well, you're the best, <laughs> Michael. What's the oh, question? Yeah, so- so my question is, if you got Drew Brees and Matt Ryan in the same league, Ooh. who would you start over, Drew Brees or Matt Ryan? Number one, are there four teams in your league? How do you have uh-huh. Drew Brees and Matt Ryan on the same team? And you know, I, I tell you, how many teams? I have, I have, I have five leagues. I'm in five <laughs> leagues right now, and about four of them I have the same. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out who the hell to start, Drew Brees or Matt Ryan. I, I love Drew Brees. I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to lean towards Drew Brees, but I mean, Matt Ryan, I mean, he's the silent killer, but I don't know. I don't know who to choose. I'll tell you who to choose, Michael. Matt Ryan all the way. The Steelers defense giving up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks and wide receivers across the league. Matt Ryan could quarterback his team to 50 points this week. That is not unheard of. That's why I said James Conner has to run his ass off to keep the Steelers' defense off the field because of the terribleness. Still, Matt Ryan's the best start of the weekend. Best start of the weekend, dude. And you never bench Drew Brees. Only when your quarterback's going against the Steelers' (laughs) defense. That's the only time you do it. Do it, Michael, with confidence. (laughs) 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 Thanks for calling. Why don't we go to an email? This is from... uh, The lovely Katie. Katie, your email was a bit long-winded, so I'll paraphrase. (laughs) (laughs) Love you, Katie. Love you, Katie. Listen to Katie. She's a big Seahawks fan. She has Russell Wilson as her quarterback, but she is not like Ravy. Her other quarterback is in division. It's the Rams' Jared Goff. How do you draft Jared Goff if you're a huge Seahawks fan? Yeah. And now she wants to know who to start this weekend. Um, Katie, I think you already know what to do. I think you came to me for permission, for acceptance, because you know you have to start golf. Golf is in! (laughs) I don't know, shotgun several beers and then try to live with yourself, but he's in! You're right, I don't know, like, what kind of masochist does that? Mm. (sighs) Katie the masochist, she knows what she has to do. Unless she just doesn't care about winning. Her league, you know. Uh, if she, if you don't care about winning fantasy this week, start Wilson. He was very impressive last week. I think maybe seven points, ha. possibly. Also, if you don't care about winning your league, you should be doing what to that league? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting out. Getting yeah. out of it. Out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like I said, start all of your Atlanta Falcons this week, but also start all of your Steelers. If you've got Steelers on defense, Ben Roethlisberger, all. All of the uh, wide receivers, the tight end, Vance McDonald is probably the best tight end st- start of the week. You got Steelers, they're in. You got Falcons, they're in. Just to make that perfectly clear. This is off the tweets from Rambam69. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting to know which wide receiver to sit, okay? He could start two. He's got to sit either Fitzgerald, Watkins, or Demarius Thomas. Are you sure you can only sit one from that festival of suck? (laughs) (laughs) Sit all of them. (laughs) Thomas has to stay in because he's the only one that doesn't have a Q next to his name. So you got to check the injury report. I think Fitz is the most likely to play, but hit the waiver wire. There's got to be someone, anybody else (laughs) can help you out of that garbage circle. (laughs) And then a text from the 408 is a time to give up on Kenyon Drake. He is the Dolphins running back, and I feel this guy's pain. I feel it because in another league that I'm in, I had the number one pick, and it is official. Having the first pick sucks because you get, yes, I got Todd Gurley, and he's fire, but then you come back around, and you don't have a pick till pick 24. Guess who was sitting there as the top running back at pick 24? Kenyon Drake. Guess who's killing my team? Kenyon Drake. Oh. <laughs> Guess who's out this week on that team? Kenyon Drake? Kenyon Drake. Oh, yeah. Suck it. I feel good that you guys can follow this thread. Yep. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. he Means is you're so, doing your job. He uh-huh. is so far out. I'm starting it in favor of the Lions' carry on Johnson. Who's that? He's on the Lions. He's a running back. He's doing better than Drake. <laughs> so he's in. I suggest you do the same. Drake is out and pissing me off. 
How about a lock of the week? Lock of the week. I'm going to apologize to Giants fans out there because there's a lot of Giants fans. I have Saquon Barkley on my team. And usually his points come from one or two plays. And that's it. But those are good plays. They're like 80-yard rippers. And so you get good plays. But watching the Giants for the rest of the game is like an exercise in torture. And now they're going into Carolina. The Panthers are coming off the bye. They're the biggest home favorite of the week at seven. Panthers, lock it, and feel good about it. (laughs) There you go. Woo. Ravy's lock of the week and her fantasy update, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.